So let's get the uh, weather forecast. Alexis is here. Um, I've had a few days away. Uh -huh. but, uh, As you can see from uh, the colour oh, of your yeah. skin, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on my, my, my gin palace. Uh, but the weather's been fantastic, <laughs> hasn't it? It has been beautiful, really dry though. And so gardeners and growers really wondering when we're going to have some significant rain and there isn't much in the forecast. Let's look at your uh, your pictures though. Alf Damp photographed the sunrise this morning over No Man's Fort in the Solent. Oh yeah, look at that. Merrin Woodland took this shot of the sunny spells in Siddlesham in West Sussex. And this carpet of bluebells was captured by Mim Mock in in Blandford Forum. So today we've had some lovely sunny conditions, but also some sharp showers dotted about. As you can see, these are the shower clouds in the distance at Woodstock in Oxfordshire, but some sunny spells in Mudderford, photographed by one of our weather watchers, Wild Wills. So through the course of tomorrow, we'll have some sunny spells very like today. The chance we could have an isolated shower and also gardeners and growers, watch out, there could be a frost for some as well in some places, particularly out in the countryside, more so for northernmost areas. As we head through the course of the night, the skies will clear, the winds will fall lighter and temperatures will hover just below or just above freezing, should I say, up to around zero degrees and then maybe around two or three Celsius. Even at two or three degrees, we can still have a ground frost in a few places. So there could be a, a frost tomorrow morning. A lot of sunshine initially, then the cloud will start bubbling up as the day wears on. And where that cloud is quite thick, we could see the odd isolated shower. Most places will stay dry, certainly more cloud tomorrow afternoon than in the morning with a high of 16 degrees. So that's a degree up on today, feeling pleasant in the sunshine, although there will be a keen breeze blowing in from the north or the northeast as we head in through the English Channel during the course of the day. Here's a coastal forecast for tomorrow between Selsey Bill and Lyme Regis. The winds are variable, two to four, becoming east or northeast, three to five, and the sea state is smooth or slight. So tomorrow night's very similar to tonight. We could see once again some pockets of frost, particularly out in the countryside during the early hours of the morning. There will be varying amounts of clouds, some clear spells, and temperatures will drop between two to five degrees. Through the course of Wednesday itself, after a bright and a sunny start, we could see one or two showers pop up here and there, but there will be increasing cloud for many places. Maybe along the south coast, we could see the sunshine start to make an appearance as we head through the afternoon, but generally there will be a fair amount of cloud for many places during the course of Wednesday daytime. Here's the outlook for the rest of the week. Some sunny spells to be had if my clicker's going to work. There we are. There's the outlook. Uh, we've got some sunny spells right the way through this week. A lot of dry weather, maybe one or two showers dotted about over the next few days. Temperatures will rise and fall um, just above the seasonal average with a high on Thursday of 17 degrees. Ed. Lovely. Yes, beautiful. Lovely stuff. Thanks, Alexis. That's it from us this evening. Thanks very much indeed for watching. We're back with the late news at 25 past 10 after the 10 o'clock news. And we shall be here tomorrow, shall we? We shall. Half past six. Join us then. Good night. Good night.